Hilton. There's been a lot about the, the Colonel and his gambling at Hilton. And that was maybe the reason why they had, he had his own place there because he spent so much money on the gambling. Did you ever see Colonel Gamble? Sure, I had to gamble with him. You had to? Oh yeah. So he lost a lot of money or? Sometimes he'd win, sometimes he'd lose. You know, but at the, th at the same time, I can be honest with you, and Baron Hilton actually told me this in person. Every, every week, the colonel would write a check if he had losses and pay them. There was no discount. There was nothing there that would in affect Elvis's performance, you know. Okay. The colonel was just a gambler. Because that has been something that people have yeah. been yeah. putting Bar up as yeah, critical. Bar also. Yeah, Baron Hilton said that. No, he said the colonel paid his own debts every, every, every week. Yeah. And some people told that they have been watching him losing a lot of money in one hour, you know, without, you could see it on him actually. <laughs> have you ever noticed that or seen that by oh, yourself? Sure, absolutely, absolutely. Okay. And I've seen him make a lot too though. Okay. You don't always lose, you know. He plays roulette because he covers every number at least once. Was well, it roulette that was his favorite that's game? That's what was his game. Yeah. So you got 35 numbers plus two greens, so that's 37. If the t let's say the chips are worth a thousand dollars, you got thirty-seven thousand dollars. You're going to make thirty-five thousand back. So it doesn't, you're not going to lose everything. No. Because if you hit one number, it's thirty-five to one odds, you know. But if you have a bunch of chips stacked up, then you're going to make a, a big lick. But but it's but it's strange and in some way funny that a man who has so much things in control like the colonel has, he had this little leak that he liked to play these games, you know. Was that because he just needed to stress, uh, have no stress, just relax, not doing anything at all, just sitting and gambling and be into that? Because he had this life where he had to be in control of everything, people wanting parts of Elvis and taking care of all these things. Do you think it was his kind of relax? Well, funny you ask that. I asked him one time, we were gambling. I said, Colonel, can I ask you something? He says, no, but go ahead. <laughs> I said, you know, do you, you gambling all this, is, is this all you enjoy doing, whatever. He said, well, let me ask, let me put this way, Charlie. What do you enjoy doing? I love to travel. I love to ski. He said, that's fine for you. This is what I personally enjoy. This is my relaxation. I can afford it. I said, enough said. You know, yeah. Colonel didn't do sports. I mean, look at him. He didn't do anything else. But this was, this was the only activity that he really loved doing. So you can't fault him for that. And you only live once, and he didn't have any children who should. Uh... And he said, you know, when I die, they're not going to put any all my cash in my coffin with me. He said, I'll make sure Loann is, is taken care of. He said, what, you know, I don't have any family left to leave it to except Loann. He said, this is the way I enjoy it. You know, you can't fault that. Did he continue playing uh, until he died? Or yeah, oh yeah. He did? Yeah. And was he still in good health until the end? Because he became very old. I cannot remember. How old did Colonel... Uh, Become, did he, was 80, it 87 or something? 86 or 7, yeah. Yeah, high age. Yeah. When you think about but, but he how he lived his life, you know, because he was round, you know, he, and he, all these cigars and... Oh, he quit smoking for a long time before he died. Okay, he did. But he was overweight, and remember, he broke his shoulder, so he couldn't, uh, he couldn't raise one arm up okay. too much, but uh, he wasn't in great health. No. Thank you.